Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Lava Temptress with a new playthrough of Tropico 6, which is a game I've never played before, but I am excited to try it out. This is one that was, the key was given to me by the developers, so, um, but it still looks tons of fun. Welcome, Presidente. Before you begin, before you present yourself to the proud citizens of the tropical nation, please check your outfit. First impression is the most important, after all. Alright, so we're gonna do a female. Duh, because I'm a female. Ethnic type. Uh, Latino, Asian. I'm Caucasian, so we're gonna go with Caucasian. Alright. Makeup. Let's do purple. Bold. Uh, let's do punk. Eyeshadow color. Let's do purple for eyeshadow. Uh, makeup, lipstick. Let's go with a red blush. Uh, no pink. Hmm, outfit. Haha! Some of these we can't do. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go Hawaiian tourist outfit colors. Yeah, let's do black for some theory. All right, um, main color. pink hat. We don't want that hat. Yeah, let's go complete Hawaiian accessories. Let's do... Oh my god, a pacifier, really? Straight pipe. A uh, bit pipe. Cigar variation too. Let's go no accessory. Glasses. Okay, that's kind of cute. That's kind of, that's kind of cute. I tend to go more square though. But look at that. It changes your face quite a bit. Oh. Do we want Hawaiian tropics or 70s? Um, let's go 70s. Okay, hair. Ew, no. Mmm. <laughs> let's do long wave. Our color. Let's go. Do I want to do? Let's do purple. All right. Fabulous. All right. Uh, traits. Kind of normal. You have mastered the art of not standing out in a crowd, and it, um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stand out in a crowd. Just say. And have made being average into a fine art. If there is a more seemingly ordinary person in the world, nobody has noticed them. Um, big spender. Charismatic. Ooh. Let's do charismatic. People just can't help liking you, even when you're signing a death warrant. There's just something about that smile that makes everything okay. Increase the standing with each faction by two and the relations of each superpower by two. Uh, yeah, let's go charismatic. Although, compulsive hoarder sound funds. Demolition cost 100, decoration object cost are decreased by 10%. You deny that you are obsessive, since this implies an entirely irrational impulse. On the contrary, you have excellent reason never to throw away anything, and can produce detailed listings of the potential use of everything you own. Um, yeah, let's go with charismatic. I mean, that's pretty good. I think to start out playing. Ooh, look at that palace. Alright, so let's start layout. Left, backyard. 
front yard, a regular, ooh. Right or split. Ooh, let's do the split. Alright. Um, I don't think we're, well, I don't know, we could change colors. Ooh, that black. No, sorry, dark gray. They are color too. Um. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, that pastel yellow kind of gives it a gold feel, so let's go with that one. Color three, let's see. Ooh, let's do dark gray. Window style. Do default. I like the default ones best. Alright, so plastered, stucco walls, sandstone, rundown, and pompous. We're gonna stick with default on that. Alright, so path. Um Ooh, that red carpet is a fabulous! Oh no, gemstone. Gotta go gemstone. Boundary! Victorian style plastic wool, light military. Those are locked anyway, but um, can I get a little bit closer? No. Let's go Victorian style. Rooftop extension. Fish tank. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I think all these are locked though. Oh no, we can do a rooftop garden. Ooh, or a money bin. Let's do rooftop garden it is. Okay, deco. None. Oh, I see. Okay, so flagpole, banner, low spherical topiary, tall spirally topiary, El Presidente statue, or an air dancer. Uh, really? No. Let's do the tall spirally. Large deco. Okay, so let's... That one's locked. Fountain classic. Ooh, that's pretty. Fountain. Uh, that one's locked. Fountain gothic. Ooh. Gazebo. Ooh. Oh, I kind of like the gazebo. Meteorite. Ooh. Weird wood tree. Hmm. Okay, do I want the weird? That This one's... Oh, that one's even locked. The El Presidente statue. Okay, so I like either with the weird wood tree or I think the classic fountain. Oh no, I like the gazebo too. Darn, which one do I want to do? Okay, if we were talking like in personal real life, I think I'd do the gazebo. So we're gonna stick with the gazebo then. Alright. I think we have it all customized and beautiful! Alright, we're gonna do the tutorial. Chapter 1, Basics and Economy. Because I've never played this, so might as well go through the tutorial, right? Did you know, progressing to a new era not only provides new opportunities, but also new challenges. Alright, tutorial chapter one. Welcome to Tropico. You are our El Presidente, the dictator of Tropico, a small but thriving nation located somewhere in the Caribbean Sea. Ooh! We will build, expand, trade, and issue laws to guide Tropico through four turbulent historical eras in which you have to face global superpowers while trying to juggle interior political factions. How will you be remembered? As a benevolent leader who caters for the people? Or as a dictating ruler with an iron fist? Whatever you choose, the main thing is that you stay in charge. Cool. Hola, Presidente. It is I, your loyal penultimo, with a workout for your mighty brain. A formality, I know, for one of your brilliance. Yet even a politican, politican savant must stay in practice. 
Please demonstrate a few of the leadership techniques with which you intend to impose your flawless will upon the nation of Tropico. Polit Politmo is prepared to gasp in awe. Complete all tutorial tasks here of four. Accepted! You just met Politmo, your personal assistant and most loyal consultant. He has presented a main task which you need to complete in order to finish the tutorial first tutorial lesson. Main tasks are automatically accepted and displayed with a golden icon in the task tracker on the left side of the screen. The task tracker lists all the tasks you receive and displays a short summary as well as your progress on the objective. The objective of each tutorial lesson is to complete a certain number of tasks. Okay. This is the first tutorial task to complete. You will need to complete each tutorial task to finish the lesson. Like the main task, the tutorial tasks pop up automatically and are displayed in the task tracker after accepting them. You can still access all tasks, including their text and all of their objectives in the task screen. Now follow the objectives listed below one by one in order to complete this task. Open the task screen and view each current task. <gasps> what? Hello, Presidente. It is I, your loyal Poluntimo with a workout for your mighty brain. A formality I know for one so broke. So that just shows me it again, okay. View task. This is the first tutorial task to complete. Open the task screen and view each current task. Oh my god! Pan the camera around, rotate the camera around, tilt the camera up and down, zoom in and out. So, scroll out and beautiful. I did not mean to do that. Okay, so if I right click, um, tilt camera. Okay, so to tilt it, well, I went way far out. Yes! Activate our archipelago view. Deactivate archipelago view. When you want to have a better overview or you want to move the camera somewhere else more quickly, archipelago, archipelago yeah, I know that word, but I cannot for the life of me say it correctly right now, It's the tool for you. You can toggle it directly or automatically when continuing to zoom out. While in archipelago view, you can pan and rotate the camera as usual, whereas zooming in will toggle archipelago view off again. You can use Archipelago View to go back to your palace in case you got lost while getting acquainted with the camera in the previous task. So. Oh. Pause. Okay. Controlling time. Now that you've mastered the camera, let's just take a look at the ways to control time. You can pause the game and choose from different speed settings. While the time has passed, you can still act, give orders, and make decisions. The game world will react to your changes when you start the time again. Try the different speed settings now. Pause the game, resume the game, set the game speed to 4, and set the game to normal. So pause, unpause, game speed to 4, and then back to normal. I am so proud of you, Presidente. Your control of your Tropico is absolute. I especially enjoyed marveling at your palace for so many angles and distances. Amazing. After this, maintaining your power throughout a turbulent century of political challenges should be simplicity itself. Your loyal citizens do whatever you tell them to do, Presidente. They are not as loyal as Palamento, of course. I don't know why I have such trouble with his name. Nobody could be. But they are good for constructing buildings, making and transporting goods, and generally keeping the economy tickling over. Ticking over. Complete all tutorial tasks, zero out of five. Dream Team! If you want the world's best to be the world's greatest dictator, you need to make sure that you have a fulfilled treasury for all necessary expenses. The basic way of making money in Tropico is to produce goods and export them. The dock and the Teamsters office are the main drivers of export. Teamsters fetch goods from building production buildings and deliver them to the docks. 
They are stored until the fire next freighter arrives. Freighters automatically load and export goods stored in the docks. So, one, select the Teamster's office and expect, inspect its description tab and select the dock and expect its description tabs. Info. If you want to check the basic functionality of any building, you can select it to open its info panel and accept, inspect its descriptions. So, first, the office. Info. Organizes logistics on one island, transports goods from production to processing buildings, transports goods to docks for export. Without a Teamsters office, no goods get moved from one place to another. Even with one, don't hold your breath for swift delivery. Okay, so now we need to click on the docks. Transshipment Center for Logistics. Handles the import and export of goods. Handles the immigration and immigration and emigration of people. Decreases the crime safety nearby. On every island in Tropico, docks provide merchant seamen the facilities to load and unload cargo. A place for stowaways to acquire free travel services and scoundrels somewhere to sneak and lurk. Alright, the Teamster trucks are already busy transporting cord from your plantation and hides and meats from the ranch to the dock for export. There is also a mine that is producing gold, but it's not connected to the Teamster's office by road, so they cannot reach it. Buildings that do not produ produce temporary store or receive goods do not require a road connection. Connect the mine to a new road that connects to the existing road. Alright, first of all... That music is way too loud. Except. All right, thank you. Resume. All right, so now we need to construct a road. All right, we built us a road. Task complete. Okay, so. Cancel road construction, road cost. All right. Now that the mine is connected to the road network, the Teamsters will transport the gold to the dock. The next freighter will automatically export the gold, earning you money which is added to your treasury. Every time a freighter arrives, a news feed message will display the money earned from the export. Your current treasury balance is permanently displayed on the top left of the screen. Notice that you will need to have money in the treasury to construct new roads and buildings, and the co running costs like building upkeep and wages for workers will deplete your treasury over time. Export gold, 0 out of 50. Wait for the next freighter to export goods. Remember that you can increase the game speed if waiting for a freighter takes too long. Sweet! Well, there's the freighter, so... Let's have him speed up just a little bit. Go grab the gold! Come on! Go, go, go! You can do it! <laughs> Expert gold. Wait for the next freighter. Okay, so we're still waiting. I thought it was already. We're gonna speed it up to four and see how well we do. What are they doing? Are they training? I think they're training. <laughs> oh, there's cows somewhere. Oh, there, here they are. Cool. We have lots of stuff. Look! A boat! It looks so tiny from here, but I doubt even you could lift it. <laughs> it warms, but natural I'm just gonna call him P. It warms P's heart to see the ships coming to Tropico and taking our goods out into the world. Now that we what? Not that we not that what we make isn't good enough for Tropicans to use, of course. It's just that we make much more money when we sell them to unsuspecting export partners. That just sounds wrong. Other sources of income from come from service buildings and residential buildings. They pro their profit margin is not as big as from exports, but the revenues are regularly credited to your treasury each month as rent or directly in the case of visitor fees from service buildings. Construct your first tavern now to provide your citizens with fun and get a little extra income. 
After confirming the location, construction office workers are sent to the construction site to erect the building. Build a tower. Residents, tenants of resident buildings within the green area displayed around the tavern during placement will take the tavern into account when looking for fun. So, entertainment tavern. Oh, we want to put it there. Spot is already taken. So why did it say? Not within the designated area. Why? Right, so w wait a minute. How do I flip it? Oh, okay. Uh, start construction. Cancel. Um. Do I have to turn before I put it down, maybe? There. Maybe that'll work. No, it's still trying to do it the other way. And it says to put it right there. Uh, rotate building. Okay. There we go. Whoops. Yay! Some goods can be processed into refined goods that have better export prices. That's the job of industrial buildings in general. You can process the hides from your cattle ranch into leather using a tannery. Instead of bringing them to the docks for expert export, Teamster trucks will deliver hides to the tannery when it is constructed and connected to the road network. As long as the tannery is staffed and has Hides on stock, it will use them to produce leather. leather. So build a tannery and produce 50 leather. We need a tannery. And it's right across the street from it, so. Oh, it's almost done! What does it mean it doesn't have the road? Why, why does it have the road icon? It goes straight across. What does it need a road from? Road's right next to it. Hmm. That looks like somebody's sh shanty house. Oh, just like right there. Seriously, why does it have the road icon? Does it need workers? Alright, okay, people are coming in there to work. Bunkhouse, okay. So it already has the bunkhouse there. And it goes out to there to export it, so... Seriously, why does it have this? Hmm. What does it need? Housing quality 32, wealth required for monthly income. Income, okay. Efficiency is 
no road connection, but where's the road supposed to connect? I understand because the road's right here. How is that not connected? Okay, so we're gonna pause it. Oh, is there a little pathway? Okay, hold on. Uh, road. The road's too short. Building is in the way. Okay, but what about... Is there a pathway? Answers. Uh, surface. Uh, 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 no. <clears throat> Connect buildings. Road connections are required to transport goods between buildings. Tropicans can afford cars and tourists can travel via roads from one parking deck to another. Starting with World Wars, road construction can also create bridges. It acts like it wants to connect it to here, but... Hmm. See, where is it wanting to connect to? Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to do that. Hmm. See, I don't get where the road's supposed to be connected. Oh, I guess I want to wash. I wonder where it's supposed to connect to. Back there? Because it's connected to the road. Still say it's not connected? Still says it's not connected! So where do they want to connect it? Right here? Or out of here? So that's coming out of there. So it wants to come out of here is where it wants to go. So why can't I place one right here? There we go. Don't know why it wanted to go all that round. Wait, what? Now it replaced that. Oh my goodness. Mm 
Now it won't deconstruct that. in a warehouse. What was it? Well, I screwed that up. The tiny parts there. Yep. I don't know what it was called that I accidentally got rid of. It, it looked like one of these. A shack. Well that should be fine then, shouldn't it? So, I just need to put the uh, road back in then. Why doesn't it want to go that way? Just make it work. Now what is it? Um. This is an explosion. Why does it say it needs settings? Empty and stock. Oh, okay. But it just got some, right? There we go. Okay, it got some. All right. Well. I knew you would get the hang of this way of issuing orders. Yay. So that is a good place to leave it. I know this was a long one. But I'll get better at the game. I kind of got a little confuzzled there. I probably should have flipped it around, but I think that's where it said I should put it. So, I knew you would get the hang of this way of issuing orders. Remember, it's all about stuff. Build stuff to make stuff. Build stuff to move stuff. Then build stuff to export stuff. So you can stuff your pockets full of money. You should have said stuff. Uh, of course, it's the Tropican treasury that is really getting stuffed. Wink, wink. Oh, yeah. Making money is good, but you know what is better? making more money we will come back to lesson three next time so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up leave any comments for me down below i appreciate them all even if you're like lava you should have done that a little bit better i know i know it's first time playthrough i'll get better but this time it's probably gonna suck let's just face it because that's how i do all right, and if you're not already and you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see when my next videos come out, especially if you're following certain games, like Tropical 6. All right, until next time, this love a temptress. Don't get burned. Bye!